Welcome to this cozy, snowy day. We haven't had snow like this in quite a while, and it is so magical to get to experience it. I'm not sure what exactly possessed me to do so, but I decided to drink my coffee outside this morning, and I'm so glad I did. It's moments like these where winter is really out in full force that I feel real gratitude for this season. It can be hard to hold on to that amidst all the darkness and the cold, but taking the time to feel the invigorating air and see the pristine white blanket covering the earth and breathe in the moment outside, all with a hot cup of coffee in my hands, just brought me back to the reasons why I love winter, which can be so easily forgotten. After coming in from the snow, I made breakfast. This is the blended date oatmeal recipe from Nutrition Stripped, and it's one of my absolute favorites. I decided to dedicate today to really taking care of myself and trying to relax. Uh, I've been feeling quite a lot of stress recently and it's been negatively affecting pretty much every part of my life, especially physically. It's manifested in some pretty unfortunate ways and so I feel really grateful to get this day when the whole world was forced to rest with all the snow to kind of force myself to rest as well and not feel guilty for focusing on nourishing and resting my body and my mind. I ate my breakfast by the window. One of my priorities for this day was to stay off social media and avoid mindlessly using technology and to really just be okay with silence and stillness. And meal times were a really great time to practice this. After breakfast, I just got ready for the day, 
I put on my favorite cozy sweater. My boyfriend just got this for me for Christmas and it's so warm and just amazing. And then I spent some time reading. The first book that I was looking through was Back to Basics. I was going through and putting post-it notes down to mark the sections that are of interest to me. The book is all about living a self-sufficient life and gives a lot of amazing information on all kinds of skills, but it's not a book that I want to read cover to cover because certain parts are not of interest to me, like the sections on livestock farming and things like that. I don't know if I've actually talked about it on this channel before, but my ultimate dream of dreams is to live a life out in nature with a lot of space to grow my own food, have a sanctuary farm, and live as in tune with the earth as I possibly can. I decided that this year I would start working toward that goal. Even though I'm very far away from reaching it at the moment, I can start learning about little skills that will help me to get there. After that, I read some Ethan Frome, which I'm really loving. The whole book feels very icy, not only because of the presence of winter on every page, but also in the ways that the characters interact with each other and go through their lives. It's such a great book for this time of year, and the moments of warmth that are in the story really grab your heart. After reading, I just had some leftover lentil soup for lunch, another very delicious, nourishing meal that was just perfect for this snowy day. About an hour before the sunset, so around 3.30, <laughs> Gabe and I decided to take a walk in the snowy forest behind my house. was truly a winter wonderland. Everywhere I looked, I was in awe of how beautiful it was. It felt like I was in a fairy tale or in Narnia or somewhere like that. It was just so stunning. I think my favorite thing was seeing all of the little tree archways like this one here that crossed the path. They looked like doorways to magical worlds. We had such a fun time playing in the snow. I've tried to make more of an effort to do things like this recently because I don't think we should stop enjoying the everyday magic of life just because we're very grown up adults. <laughs> It was so fun being out here with Gabe. Living in Australia, he's never really experienced this kind of thing. <laughs> that is quite the technique. And 
his wonder at it all just increased mine even more. When we came back in from the snow, we had some hot chocolate because you have to have hot chocolate after playing in the snow. It's actually a rule. And then I made dinner. I made these corn fritters with homemade baked beans from the Deliciously Ella cookbook, which is one of my absolute favorite vegan cookbooks. It's amazing. One of the best parts of my day was taking the time to really cook full meals for myself. It's something that I often dread doing, but when I do it, it not only boosts my mood, but I just really love the connection that it gives me with my food. Putting in a little bit of work to take care of myself is such an empowering feeling, especially when I'm feeling stressed or down and that's something I'm really trying to remember. After dinner, I spent some time crocheting. This year I'm making a granny square crocheted blanket and I'm so excited about it. I'm following a pattern online, which I will link below, but I am actually making the blanket three times bigger than the pattern, so I have a bit of stuff to rearrange. I love crocheting so much, so though the 360 square blanket will be a crazy undertaking, I'm thrilled to be doing it. And the finished project is something that I'm going to treasure forever. I actually did my crocheting wrapped in this blanket that my aunt crocheted for my family. And every time I use that blanket, I'm just reminded of how special it is to have these things that a loved one made and poured their heart into. That feeling is one of the main reasons I love making things so much. Finally, to end the night, I decided to set up a little fort in my room. I made this a few nights ago for a How to Train Your Dragon movie date night, and it was so fun, so I wanted to do it again. I decorated the space with fairy lights and used lots of pillows and blankets and it just was so cozy. had popcorn and some vegan chocolate cupcakes. And then we watched Narnia, which is one of my favorite movies ever and definitely my favorite movie for this time of year. I then got ready for bed and did a meditation before falling asleep to the sound of falling snow. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you are staying well and warm and taking time to care for yourself. Good night, friends.